guys, I'm Midge. And I'm Madge. And this is Midge, Midge and Madge, Madge Mingle. Mingle. And today we have swanky word wall decor for you. <laughs> and I said that without messing it up, because that's hard, you should try it. Tongue twister. Very much so. Yes. But very first of all, we want to thank impressionsshop.com for giving us all of this super fabulous wood product to play with today. Yes. And we are going to tell you what we did with all of our Yes, Words. because we are super, super stoked, you guys. We are. And it's fun to do things, not just paint it and stick it up there. Right. I have a couple of those in my house, and I love them. I do, too. But I want to put words everywhere, or an arrow, or You just a want a little difference. You do. Okay. So we thought outside of the box. Are Let's you ready? Let's these. We're ready. We're ready. Okay. First, this fabulous word right here, West. Um, I used, I did like a watercolor technique, and it was super fun. I just... I love the watercolor, um, very easy, just with a little bit of gesso and watercolor, and that's, bam. Super simple. That's what you get. Okay. okay. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to do the arrow? Uh-huh. Um, that cute little arrow is with fringe tape. Which I love. It's fabulous. It is. And it has so many uses. Yes, and it comes in a big array of colors. But I did, I had to do the, the pink and the turquoise, I mean. Well, of course. Signature colors. Yeah. Yes, that is that, and... I'll do my last one okay. right here. And this one right here, um, I did tissue paper. And you guys, I just... Um, like, time out, tissue paper you put in a gift? Tissue paper you put in a gift. <gasps> Love it. Yes, I just um, used Mod Podge, or you can use DecoArt. Um, um, DecoArt has a decoupage that you could use, and that's awesome. Um, either one would work fabulous, and you just lay it down and just... And then did you do out. something on the edges? You Mod Podged on the paper and then you... I just used a little bit of um, Tim Holtz um, Distress Paint. Fabulous. Yeah. So you painted the edges. I did. Just to give mm -hmm. it a little bit of a sparkle. Sweet. Sweet yeah. beans. Yeah. Okay. Well, on mine, first I did Hello. And I just covered it in flowers. But then I realized I didn't have enough of the same color flower. So I spray painted it white. And I actually like it a lot better than I did when the flowers were colored. And I love that. So that was super simple. Yes. Good and... Job. My favorite, even though it took me forever, is this Enjoy. And you can see it's covered in pom-poms, which I use the We Are pom-pom makers. And I use, there's, it comes with three sizes. I use the biggest and the smallest. And I just, first I painted the wood gray. And then I made all the pom-poms and glued them on, just with hot glue. And it was super simple. And I watched quite a few movies while I made the pom-poms. She did. She was making <laughs> pom-poms for days. I was. And then they have the fun hashtag, and you can't do a project without some glitter, so I decided just gold glitter, bam up the hashtag. If you so can see it, let me, move my, let me move my large head out oh, of the way. Stop. Hashtag. And then you can also, Vanna, Vanna, would you like to display the second? <laughs> For happy, I just painted the whole word turquoise, obviously, and then I got little mirrors of all different sizes and just polka dotted the happy with the mirrors. Loving it. And it made loving me super it. excited. You now, went crazy wild. I went crazy wild. But now it. you have one that you did too. I do. You guys, this is a work in progress, but I wanted to kind of share with you a little bit um, on this one. This one is Eat. And, you know, corks are really quite expensive at the store. But you can go to Amazon and you can buy 100 corks for about 15 bucks. Or you could drink a little bit of wine. You could do that. If and you wanted to. Nobody would even be mad. I mean, that would be okay. That's fine. And so I still have a little bit to go, but I just wanted to kind of show you the process. I just used a little bit of hot glue um, and stuck the corks on. But before I did that, you guys, I painted, um, I painted the word with just some bronze spray paint uh, just to give it a little bit. A little bit more. And that is a good tip, like on this one, and even this one, because I did paint the base white. Right. Just so that you don't have to worry about covering every single little inch, just spray paint it a color that blends first, and spray it makes paint. it so Sorry. much easier. You're good. Yes. Sorry, I was interrupting. <laughs> spray paint dries a lot quicker, I think, too, Yes, than, I agree. Than the acrylic on. And this would this absorb. Wood. I did this one with spray paint, but I did the other one with regular paint, and it absorbs both really good, but spray paint does dry faster. Yes, so if you're in a hurry. Yes. Because I forgot one back here. Yes. This one back here, I might just grab and then I'll lay it on top of that one. Please do. This one, I just, I actually painted this one with just acrylic paint and then um, painted a little, um, I didn't paint it solid. I kind of did a distressed look and then I just distressed the edges with ink. And then I, this is just some of our favorite stuff too. The elastic. The elastic. We use it on everything and I have it in like every color because I went through a phase when I bought a lot of it. So, and this one was quick and simple and 
it turned out really cute. And you know, I think she might put it in her craft room, but what she doesn't know is I know how to get into her house <laughs> and it may or may not end up in my craft room. I mean, I'm just saying. I'll just make her one. Maybe that's what she'll do. She did that with the arrow. So maybe I if did. I just keep saying that, she'll just keep making me I'll things. make you one. Okay. Impressions shop, I'm placing an order soon, clearly. <laughs> and my last one, I did an arrow also, but I kind of went a different route. I beat my arrow up with a hammer and then also the pokey end of the hammer, whatever that's called. And um, also, I just really beat it with a lot of things. And then I took scissors and put scrapes in it, which had I known how it would turn out, I would have scraped it even more. And then I made um, an aging stain with just white vinegar and still wool and did a quick brush over and it really does change the look of the wood quite a bit. It really does. That's awesome. And really that's all I did. I aged it. I painted on the stain that I made, sanded the edges and wrapped a little jute around it and that was it. With the stain, how long did it take to dry? Did it take oh, a it, lot longer? Or no, did it... it's super fast. Oh good. It's that's really good fast. And the longer you let your stain sit, the darker it will go. But I just, yeah, it was super quick. I love that. Yep. Good job. So, you were crazy busy. Well, we were crazy busy, but she, I mean, pom-poms, beating your arrow up, my word. Well, we want to again thank Impressions Shop for giving us this yes. wood to play with. Yes, we do. And we have a little special something for all of you guys out there. Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm okay. waiting to hear. Fabulous. For all of you fabulous peeps out there <laughs> watching the show, do you want to win a prize? I know you do. Because this is one. This is a winner. You will want to go to our Pinterest page, Midget Match Mingle. Yes. You want to find one of these fabulous, fabulous, fabulous wood words. Yes. Follow us on Pinterest first. Yes. And then find one of these words. Yes. And then repin it, and you could win a $25 gift card to Impression Shop. You heard right, a $25 gift card. You know what? That is awesome. Maybe I'll win. Maybe I'll pin a lot of times. So we hope that you really like this because we know we did and we're going to be making a lot more of them. And we want you to go visit impressionshop.com yes. and yes. come see us at our blog, midgetmagicbingo.com. Yes. And that's that. That is. That is. Oh, but wait, before we go, we want to make sure that you guys leave a comment below. Right down here. Because we love comments. And we'll answer you too. Yes. And if you love this, share it. Share, share, share. Yep, sharing's caring. And until next time, we will see you later.